Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Beis HaLevi and his Maimar HaBitochen. And the Beis HaLevi is informing us that a Yid never gives up hope for in a second because HaKadosh Baruch has many different ways that he can save us, that he can bring us the bracha, that he can take care of us, that he can change the situation that we find ourselves in. And he brings today a fascinating proof to this. And that is the following, A person should remember the Maisa, the story of Yoyna Hanavi, the prophet Yoyna. As, and, and that's all that he says. If you want to believe in the fact that HaKadosh Baruch Hu can change the situation in an instant, save a person's life and bring them from the clutches of death and bring them to life and to blessing and to goodness and prosperity and success, just yiska the ma'isa yoyna novi. Just remind yourself and think about the story of yoyna. You have a man who was a prophet. We're talking about a prophet, not a regular person like you and I. He was a novi. He was a prophet, and our Kodesh Baruch Hu told him to go and to give a scathing prophecy to the people of Ninveh. And Yaina did not want to because he was afraid that if he goes to the people of Ninveh who, was, who are not Jewish and they hear his rebuke, they're going to do tshuva. And if they will do tshuva, it's going to look so bad for Klau Yusel because the Jewish people have been exhorted by their Nevi and by their prophets for years to do tshuva and return to Hashem and they don't listen. So it's going to be a great blemish on the reputation of the Jewish people in the eyes of Hashem. So he runs away. And he boards a ship and he goes off into the sea and he's trying to sail away from his mission that HaKadosh Baruch has put him on. And we know the story, suddenly the seas begin to storm and the thunder and the lightning and the ship is topsy-turvy and it's about to capsize. And all of the sailors and the captain on the ship begin to pray out to their gods. They're not religious men men of believing in Hashem, they, but they were religious people, they believed in the power of the gods. And they begin praying and crying out, and nothing works. And suddenly they find Yoyna in the hull of the ship, sleeping like a baby. And the captain yells at him, Malacha near them, how could you be sleeping at a time like this when the ship is about to capsize and our world is about to fall apart? Wake up, wake up, and go and call out to your God. And Yoyna Hanavi at that moment realizes that all of the storms and the imminent destruction that is about to take place and the sinking of the ship is all because he is running away from his mission and he's trying to hide from Hashem. Nobody can run away and hide from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So he tells the sailors, take me and toss me overboard and the storm will calm and subside and the seas will once be made again for sailing. And so they pick up Yoyna Hanavi, he's a prophet, and they throw him over the board and he begins sinking deep down into the annals of the darkest and coldest of the sea. And his life is finished, it's over, there's no place for Yoyna to, to go. He's going to drown, he will in a moment lose the ability to breathe, and that will be the end of Yoyna Hanavi, and the story should end at that point. And Yana Kodesh Baruch Hu sends a giant fish, and the fish opens its mouth and catches Yoyna as he's descending deeper and deeper into the abyss of the ocean. And inside the fish, there's light. And inside the fish, there's what for Yoni to eat. And inside the fish, there's air he's able to breathe. And suddenly, from the darkest of places in the world, in the deepest ocean that you could imagine, Yoyna Hanavi has a conversation with the Rebbeinah Sha'ilam, and he apologizes for running away and shirking his responsibility, and he says, please, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, give me a chance. And the fish swims to the shore and spits Yoyna out onto dry land, and he goes and he gives his prophecy to the people of Ninveh, and they do tshuva, and from here, Klal Yusuf learns for all of eternity how we have to do tshuva, because we read this on Yom Kippur to remind ourselves that it's never too late. A person can always do tshuva, and we learn from Yaina Anavi 
that even in the most hopeless of times, the moments in a person's life where they are descending into the abyss, the bottomless pit of the ocean, and they can't breathe, and they're suffocating, and it looks like the end, there's no place to run and to hide, and there is no hope for them to be redeemed at that moment, what's going to be? If a person trusts in the Rebbeinu Shailam, a person believes in HaKadosh Baruch Hu and they rely upon Him that He can save them even when there seems to be no salvation, HaKadosh Baruch Hu will send a fish, He will send a messenger, He will send someone to help you and bring you out of the forces of destruction that seem to be confounding and swirling around this person's life. Bitochen, trusting in the Rebbein HaShoilam, relying upon HaKadosh Baruch Hu's salvation means that it doesn't matter how dark and how bleak and how hopeless the situation looks. I trust in Hashem and I know that He can do anything and He will do anything in the schus of my Bitochen. And therefore, even when there seems to be no place that is going to be a rest, no place that is going to be a, a salvation for you. HaKadosh Baruch Hu comes at the last minute, when you least expect it in the most unusual of ways, and it can rescue and save a person's life. Says the Beis HaLevi, Yizka Oda Maise Yoyna Novi, just remind yourself, when you're feeling down and out, and you're feeling that you're in a situation where there is no place that you can turn, and it seems impossible for you to believe that anything about your matzav, about your situation, is going to change. Just remember Yoyna Novi being tossed into the sea, descending thousands of leagues under the ocean to his eventual death. And out of nowhere comes the Livyosan, comes the giant fish, and it swallows Yonah up, and inside the fish there's a world where he's able to live and survive. And from there he's able to go on and complete his mission and task in life, and do the rots and do the will of Hashem. If that is our goal, and that is our focus, and that's what we want to do to fulfill our mission and our task in this world, and do all that HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Ratzin, that His will obligates us to do, then even in the darkest of moments in a person's life, if Yibaytech Ba'ashem HaKadosh Baruch Hu, in His infinite wisdom and His mercy and His kindness, He will bring salvation to you as well. Have a wonderful day.